everyone. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to wash and sanitize produce. Before I get started, I'm going to use the Gen X3 to sanitize my countertops. And I'll let it sit there for a moment. And then I will use my microfiber cloth to just wipe up the area. And then I'm going to put down a double layer of paper towels in readiness for my sanitized produce. The first thing I've done here is fill a container with water, just plain old water. And I'm going to use, um, just rinse uh, vegetables. And by the way, all of this I harvested today from my garden. I have peppers and squash, eggplant, tomatoes. All I'm doing here basically, and I won't do them all, is just rinsing off any residue from the outside. A little dirt, whatever. Especially for veg, it's good uh, to rinse off the dirt, especially for vegetables that have uh, been growing on the ground. The next thing I'm going to do is to just take it as is and liberally spray, being particular to get the ends, the blossom end and the stem end, because that's generally where fruit flies lay their eggs. And it's always good to leave the stems on if possible. It helps prolong the life of the uh, produce as well. I'm spraying this produce for a number of reasons. First, it sanitizes them and it also prolongs their shelf life. And then I will sit them here to drain. The other thing, of course, is when you bring fruits and vegetables in from stores and whatnot, you're not quite sure what type of farms they've come from, how clean they are. And with so many recalls in salmonella, E. coli, on fruits and vegetables, this takes care of that as well. It kills everything dead. So there you have it. It's that simple. Now all you need to do is let them air dry and then you can use them or store them as you normally would and uh, you'll feel very confident about what you're eating. Thank you.